Hi guys, um, in this video I'm going to show you the different type of goggles that you can buy in the market right now. Um, the box style and the fat shark type of goggles. And because I have a different type of goggles, so I can demonstrate to you how they look like. This video is particularly for some of you up out there with just beginners and you haven't seen this different type of uh, goggles before so this one that you can see in the video right now is the quantum v2 pro goggles this is one of the earlier version and it's pretty big and very heavy um, if i let go of the model head you see that it, it's going to lean forward so it just shows you how heavy it is at the front so it's front heavy so you have this uh, separate receiver here and the straps at the back and on this side you have the battery so all the weights are on the front and of course definitely at the front here you have the screen inside and the, um, uh, the weights will all be pulling towards the front so with this one um, if I use a ruler and measure the um, projection from your face from this point to the end point there it's roughly around 20 centimeter or 8 inch so that's pretty far out in front of your face so I'm just going to do a 360 degree view for you again that's the top on the side not only that um, when you take it off and then you want to carry it around so it's also pretty heavy look at that and then if you got your transmitter see that see that how much you have to carry So in terms of form factor, this is very big and very heavy. The next one I'm going to show you is the uh, Yixing VRD2. So which is this one? So comparing it with this uh, Quantum V2 Pro. This is a bit smaller, so let me just put this on the model head so that you can see. So now with this Quantum V2, no, this with this Yixing VRD2, you can see that I'm not even holding it. It's well balanced. It's not as heavy as this one earlier. So if you look at the size, comparing that one with this one, see how big this is? So this one is quite small and it's quite light and it's well balanced without even me holding it with on this model head it won't fall down see the battery is balanced at the back this will take some weight off the front
let me measure the projection. So this is around 15 centimeter or 6 inch from your face. So definitely a lot smaller. And you can see that it's much more comfortable than this original Quantum V2 Pro. Alright, so next I want to show you my uh, Dominator V3 so this one is slightly front heavier also but it's a smaller form vector so let me try to put the battery on the side to see that whether this will balance out the goggle yep so once I put the battery on it this is well balanced So let me bring this Yixin VRD2 in to show you. So this is definitely a smaller form factor. And let me bring the Quantum V2 Bro. Look at this. See how big this is? Look at that. So with this one, you can see that it's very well balanced. Um, if I measure the projection from your face, it's about seven centimeter, which is about two and a three quarter inch from your face. So this is half the uh, projection of the uh, VRD2 and it definitely looks more comfortable. So in terms of carrying this, um, you can see a lot, a lot of uh, racer pilots, all they do is they just put it up on their forehead just like that and it's much easier for them to carry. So that's the good thing about this type of goggles, especially Fat Shark. So since I also have the uh, Attitude V4, I'm going to show you that also when you put it on the um, model head. So it's roughly the same size. Let me take this off. And I also need to put the battery on it.
Again, with the battery on the side, it's well balanced. So it's the same form factor as the uh, Dominator V3. So when you carry, you just put it on your forehead, just like that. So it's much easier. The projection from the face. It's roughly the same as the Dominator V3. Okay, since <coughs> I also have the two other fact shark logos, I just showing you for completeness sake. So I have the uh, Predator V2. Same thing. Yep, because the form factor is the same for all the uh, fresh or goggles, then most more or less the same distance are uh, projected from your face. So again, up, when you're carrying it. So I also have the uh, Dominator V1. Oops. This one has a rubber cup, so it's much harder to uh, put this on the model head. So let me try quickly. Same thing. So as you can see with um, the fat shark type of goggles, the um, Form factor is very convenient and it's easy to carry around. And in terms of uh, usage, uh, these fat shot type of goggles, they are very easy to use. So once you put it on, you just uh, put the power connector on, then it's connected. And if it has DVR, you just press on the button, it starts recording. So it's always very reliable. But in terms of uh, the ease of use for um, the other type of goggles, especially these uh, VR D2 goggles, this one is also very easy to use in terms of the um, 
connection and also the DVR. The DVR recording is very similar to uh, the fact shot one, even the menu. So there really not much difference in terms of the um, DVR. But in terms of the uh, reception, it depends on the quality of the receiver that these uh, many different manufacturer put on their goggles. So if they have better receiver, then you get better uh, connection. But in terms of um, flying FPV with different type of goggles, you can fly with the effect shot type of goggles and also this uh, Yixing VRD2, even the Quantum V2 Pro. Uh, once you get used to it, you don't really look at the, uh, the screen. It's more uh, imprinted in the memory of the directions that you want to go and also how you want to move your quad. So it's just like when you're driving, when you're driving at night, you don't really uh, see the road itself, but rather you have a, a mental picture of the road and where you're going. So if it's very similar with FPV flying, so once you get used to FPV flying, it's all committed to memory, and especially how the quad behaves. The screen itself is only for you to look at where you're going, but in terms of positioning, you are more or less uh, using your memory of your knowledge of that particular area. So all in all, in conclusion, uh, you can fly with these different type of goggles. So depending on your preference, I know that some of you cannot see without glasses so some of these, these goggles um, because of the IPT distance and because of the small form factor you can't put your glasses in there but with the fact shot type you can actually get a type of lens a prescription lens called the raw lens and it may help you uh, if you want to buy the fact shot type of goggles so all in all, for me, I like the fact shot type of goggles because it's convenient, it's easy to use, and because of the form factor. That's very important because I can just put it over my head and over my forehead, and I just carry my quad and my transmitter on my two hands, and that's it, I'm on my way. So instead of lugging along a big uh, goggles, I rather prefer going for this small one and buy and paying a bit more for this small form factor. So I hope you guys like this comparison of different type of goggles and hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Until next time, cheers.